Hello and welcome to the Houseborns World YouTube channel. Happy Easter to everybody out there. And if you're not celebrating Easter, hope you have a great break and a good time over the next coming days. So a little over two years ago, I started my YouTube channel, Houseborns World. And I bought into an AMD Ryzen processor, actually the 1700X. And I used Cinebench R15 to benchmark that against my old CPU, which was an AMD Phenom Quad Core 965 Black Edition. And going from the Phenom to the Ryzen was a night and day difference. We know that AMD has been running a processor program, much like Intel, with a TikTok variant. We've recently had the Ryzen 2700X which is the Ryzen 2 or Ryzen 2000 series. Well, very much coming just around the corner, sometime in July, July the 7th, it's been pretty much hinted, we are gonna get the Ryzen 2000 series or the Zen 2 CPUs. Now, when I bought the AMD system, the whole point of me investing in it is that I knew the AM4 platform would allow for future upgrades. And I do plan to upgrade to one of the new Ryzen 3000 series chipsets. And when I do that, I'm gonna be benchmarking my current Ryzen 1700X against whatever Ryzen 3000 series processor I go for. And to do that benchmarking, we use Cinebench. And Cinebench R15 has been the go-to benchmark for some time now I know people say it's not real world results but it's a metric to measure one CPU against another but the whole reason whole point of this video is a to let you know that I do plan to invest in Ryzen 3000 series but B did you know there is a new version of Cinebench and has been for some time and I've noticed that when I've mentioned this to people, they're completely unaware. Unfortunately, the reason people are completely unaware, because as far as I know, to my knowledge at the time of making this video, you can only get it from the Microsoft Store, everyone's favourite place to shop for apps. Now, the new release is Cinebench Release 20 and I have already gone ahead and installed it on my system. It doesn't look a hell of a lot different from release 15, but in release 20, you will see that the graphical test has disappeared, and so has the single core run test, if I'm right. I think this looks more at multi-core processors. And to be honest, a lot of people will tell you running on older i7 systems that you don't need to upgrade those type of processors. People on, for example, 7700K and that sort of area. Now, the reason I'd be saying and reaching out to those people is I would upgrade your processor because with the current Ryzen, I've got eight cores, 16 threads. You can do a whole lot more. Now those older CPUs did boost to around 5 gigahertz on uh, single or multi-cores, but they haven't got the sheer multi-threaded performance of the current CPUs, like the 9900K, which is 8 core, 16 threads. Well, with the Ryzen 3000 series, the core count might even go up even higher and we're getting more cores and more threads. A lot of you will be saying, well, if you only really got a gaming system, what's the point? Well, the point is, as we go forward and multi-core processors with lots of threads become more mainstream, game developers will start using them. And liking simulation games, my own thoughts are we're going into that period where those cores will start being utilized. And because of this, when I get the Ryzen 3000 series, I'm going to be using Cinebench R20 to benchmark the 1700X against one of the 3000 series is. And we can see the step up or the uh, IPC games in performance. Now, just to get a benchmark for our future tests, I'm going to do a real world performance test here. And it's not going to give a true 
reflection of the processor its fastest score possible because I'm currently recording this video and I've got other things open in the background but it'll give you some idea of what sort of score can be attained by my processor. As I say, <laughs> you wouldn't really normally run this while you're recording the video at the same time and having all your other applications open, but we can see that, imagine this as a real world test, the PC is running and doing other stuff, we've got a 3532 CB score, and as soon as, around the July time, we get hold of a new processor and slot it in, I'll redo these tests, but I'll do it in control conditions and we can see the difference in performance. If you do want to upgrade and get the Cinebench Release 20, unfortunately you are going to have to go to the Windows Store or find some other dubious way of downloading it. But if you didn't know, now you do, Cinebench Release 20 is available from the Windows Store. Alright, thank you for watching this very short, quick, informative video. And I will see you pretty soon in the next one. Peace out.